All right, let's talk about the two images that just surfaced of the Avatar 360 over the last few days. These are important because this is the first time we're seeing the drone in what looks like real live shots. No promo renders, no stylized concepts, no blurry leaks, right? And, and while these images don't completely change the story, they add clarity to something we already suspected. From earlier leaks, it was clear that this drone wasn't choosing between FPV and 360, it was trying to exist in both worlds. What these images do is reinforce that idea and quietly show us how DJI is actually executing it. Start with the frame itself. The overall design has classic CineWoop energy, compact enclosed prop guards, that familiar DJI gray. But one detail immediately stands out. The propellers are screwed in not push on. That's a deliberate choice. Screwed props lock into the exact same position every flight, and for a 360 camera that consistency really matters. Even tiny shifts in prop alignment can show up in stitched footage. Now look closely at the ducts. Um, they're vented at the top rather than being fully sealed. That allows hot air to escape, improves airflow inside the duct, and reduces subtle turbulence. And Turbulence is exactly the kind of thing a 360 camera will exaggerate if you're not careful. Put those two details together, screwed on props and vented ducts, and the intent becomes clear. This drone isn't chasing convenience or aggressive FPV behavior. It's built for stability, predictability, and clean 360 footage, which brings us to FPV. FPV doesn't look like the core strength here. Everything about this design points towards smooth, repeatable movement rather than sharp, reactive flying. FPV feels more like an option than the main reason this drone exists, even though Avatar is still part of the name. Now let's talk about the controller, because that adds another important piece to the puzzle. The controller design looks very familiar, closely resembling DJI's recent RC lineup, possibly something like the RC2. What's interesting is the feed shown on the screen. It doesn't look like a stitched 360 sphere or a reframed view, it looks like a straightforward camera feed. Um, that strongly supports something earlier leaks hinted at, a proper single lens mode. Here's how the camera setup appears to work. There are two lenses, one facing up and one facing down, for full 360 capture. But instead of fixing those lenses in place, the entire camera module seems to rotate about 90 degrees. When you want normal footage, one of those lenses physically swings forward and becomes the main camera. That's a big deal, unlike some other 360 drones where you're locked into 360 and forced to figure things out later in post. This looks like a system where you get that choice in the air. Now, somewhere in the middle of all this, pricing starts to make sense too. Leaks from China suggest DJI is positioning this drone pretty aggressively, uh, affordable by DJI standards. Um, once you factor in the usual price difference for global markets, especially the US, it obviously lands higher but still within reach for what this drone is offering. Especially if it truly bridges FPV and 360 without forcing you to compromise on either side. One of the images also quietly shows a three battery charging hub loaded up. That's the familiar kind we usually see bundled with Fly More kits, which lines up perfectly with earlier chatter about multiple bundles being available right from launch. And this is where things get interesting. When you step back and look at how much has already leaked, design details, camera mechanics, controller behavior, bundles, pricing, it really doesn't feel like we're guessing anymore. This feels like a finished product, and the timing supports that. DJI has already started rolling out new products. They recently posted a short teaser that's widely believed to be for the RS5, reportedly launching on January 15th. When DJI starts a launch cycle like this, they rarely stop at one product, which makes the Avatar 360 a very realistic candidate for the next announcement. Nothing is officially confirmed yet, but based on how complete everything looks, a late January or early February window doesn't feel unrealistic at all. At this point, it feels less like we're waiting for leaks and more like we're just waiting for DJI to say it out loud. This is it for now. Stay connected because things are going to get interesting in coming days. I will see you in the next one.